we have a Fisher Price Snaga Puppy Swing. Today, Arvin and I will share our Snaga Puppy Swing review as well as how to use the Fisher Price Snaga Bunny Cradle and Swing. We are going to cover these topics. You can either stay with me or use the timestamps in the description below and jump to the topic of your interest. This Snaga Puppy Baby Swing is great to give your arms a little break and to recharge your batteries. Coming up. Let's cover Snaga Puppy Swing seat positions. The interesting feature of this Fisher Price Baby Swing is the option of swinging your baby head to toe or side to side. To change the direction, simply press this button and you can easily turn it. You can even turn it when your baby is in the swing. This is nice, we did not want Arvin to watch TV or sometimes when we moved around the house, we could easily change the direction. Having said that, this swing does not provide any up and down movement or vibration. Some babies like those, but to me, this is not a deal breaker. This swing has a 6 speed setting. Now, let's see the different speeds. This is the control panel on top of the swing. This is the power button. Flip it and the light shows that it is on. These two are the swing speed. The one on the right increases the speed. This indicator shows the speed. Now let's review a Snaga Puppy Swing songs. The swing plays 16 sounds and side effects to soothe the baby. These three buttons play the music. Hit them again to change the sound. The overhead toys can spin. Use this button to turn on spinning. There is also a mirror dome. I realize Arvin really likes mirrors, so this is cool. By the way, so far if you like the video, please like the video. It's very helpful with the YouTube algorithm. For more baby related videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for the support and let's continue with the video. Now let's review the Snaga Puppy Swing weight limit as well as the age range. Use this and most infant swings from birth until your baby becomes active and may be able to climb out of the swing. The weight limit for Fisher Price Cradle Swing is 25 pounds or 11 and a half kilograms. Most baby will outgrow their swing by the time they are 9 months old. Obviously, babies are not one size fit all. Like most other baby items, the shelf life of this baby swing is not long. Keep that in mind when we go through the pricing. Now let's see how to recline a Fisher Price Snaga Puppy Swing. This swing has two recline positions. You can recline the swing with this handle underneath. I know, it's not an obvious location. You can somewhat easily fold the Snaga Puppy Swing for storage or temporarily get it out of the way. Release this arm from the back side.
lift the swing to fold it. To unfold, pull apart the assembled legs. Push to snap the support arm in place and you are all set. You have two options to power the Snaga Puppy Swing. The first is to plug it into an outlet. You see the Snaga Puppy Swing power cord in case you want to replace it. You will save a lot of batteries and honestly the only trade-off is a little bit of inconvenience as you have to be close to an outlet. Second option is to use batteries. This gives you flexibility if you want to take the swing to the yard or patio. So what kind of batteries does a Fisher-Price swing take? You will need 4D or LR20 alkaline batteries. The batteries are not included. I put a link to the battery types in the description below the video. The battery compartment is here. Loosen the screws on the battery compartment on top of the swing like this and insert the batteries in. It's okay to skip this if you plan to plug the swing into an outlet. Let's review the Snaga Puppy Swing Replacement Cover. Babies are messy. The seat cover pad is removable and machine washable. If you're interested on how to take the cover on and off, we have a separate and short video for that. I put a link here and also in the description below the video. The price for Fisher Price Snaga Puppy Swing changes all the time, so I put a link below for you to check the current pricing. It is usually between $100 to $200. Overall, you have a very good experience with this baby swing and it can be very handy to give your arms a little rest. So we recommend adding this to your baby registry. By the way, make sure to check our other video on the assembly, disassembly and washing the seat pads of this swing. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.